So I just wanted to do a quick video of uh, the power of the ellipse tool in Figma. And it's actually really cool. Um, and I wasn't aware of it until about a year ago uh, when I was doing some research on um, how, how other people were creating pie charts in Figma. Um, and so uh, the way that I used to do it, I guess, was uh, creating all of these masks. And it was just really complicated. And I just kind of masked things out to, uh, to get the different colors. But the issue with the way that I built it was um, it's really not easy to change the percentages of these shapes. And um, moving forward, it's kind of, uh, kind of stuck. And it was really limited as well to, you know, I wouldn't be able to get more than a 25% or 50% because of the, the lines that I kind of created for myself. Um, so uh, a better way to do this uh, that I found was uh, basically if I duplicate this and if I were to rebuild it today, um, I would be starting with a ellipse tool. Um, and that's uh, using O in the shapes panel. Uh, so if I go uh, and I create a new shape here, I would just do this. And uh, they have two really cool features in the ellipse um, shape which is the arc. And so the arc is going to allow me to create a pie, uh, a pie shape um, to whatever kind of size I need it to be. And if you hold shift, um, it'll kind of use those increments to uh, give you a more accurate pie. Um, and basically, if I were to, um, I probably would start it over here and um, then bring this around here. So uh, if I wanted to be the, this to be a 50% pie chart, I would just move it like this. Um, and then you can actually, the second part of it is the ratio. So the ratio um, is a percentage and you can move it up to, I'm just holding shift to get these increments um, exact. Um, and I can just move it to a 50% ratio. Um, and that's the, the ratio between the inner radius and the outer radius. Um, and basically, uh, I can now just use the eyedropper tool to grab that color. And if I wanted to um, kind of flip this around, I can just use uh, the flip vertical or flip horizontal. And there's my shape. Uh, so that's my new shape here. And if I wanted to get those white separators, um, I could use a stroke, um, which is probably the easier way to do it. And uh, that allows me to have that white stroke around it. Now, if I wanted to add a new one, then all I have to do is duplicate this. Um, so I would just uh, hit Command D or Control D. And then I would um, bring this shape out a little bit more. Um, and I would probably move that to the back and just move this out of the way a little bit if I wanted to grab that color, but I have it right here. And then. Um, for the third one, I would just do the same thing. So I duplicated the shape and then increase the sweep of that arc and uh, then move this to the back. So command uh, left square bracket. <laughs> um, but you can also move it in the layers panel here. And then I would just use the ink dropper tool, which is I, and then I would just select that, um, that color. So now I have these three shapes. And um, it's literally just three ellipses uh, shapes rather than uh, the really complex masking that I had before. Um, and now what, what's awesome about this is I can actually move this, uh, this sweep just uh, to get an exact um, kind of angle. If I, if I wanted it to be 90%, uh, then I can make that 90% here. And you can also do that in the um, in the panel on the right here as well in the design panel. Um, so it's really, uh, really handy if I want it to be 75% again, I can just move that to 75 and it's exactly 75. Um, really easy to manipulate and create different, uh, different size pie charts. And um, you can also increase uh, the thickness of the stroke if you wanted to. Um, all sorts of really cool stuff like that. And then um, the last part about this, uh, rather than using the, the sweep, if I needed to pull it out into its own shape, 
Um, you can actually change the start position as well. And I can move that to here. And I would then be able to kind of pull this out into its own shape um, to kind of indicate that. And uh, I would also want to do the same for this shape here. So I would want it to be something like this. And then you can kind of indicate, um, you know, kind of a pull out pie chart and that kind of thing. Um, and then at the same time, you would be able to select all of these shapes and uh, change the ratio as well um, all at once. Um, so it's a lot of uh, super handy features within the radius, uh, the radius tool um, or the ellipses tool. Uh, and uh, I'm just really excited about that and how much faster it's been to create these types of charts. Um, so hopefully this was helpful and we'll talk to you guys soon.